This is a test. That's it. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes. No. No, I don't. But I already told that joke. So there was this time when I did two weeks in one video because I hadn't done the one the week before. And now you're thinking, oh, it's already Friday or yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's already the next week. But the videos are of the contents of one week of time. I could put them all at the same time and they'd still be labeled individual different weeks because they're records of things that happen. You know, how I'm keeping the time step and all that. Now you're going to pay more attention to it, aren't you? No, you're not. Or maybe you are. I don't know. I'm, I don't mean to be a pessimist. I don't like being pessimistic. Plenty of people are pessimistic and I'm not one of them. Okay, I know the first step in recovery is admitting and a uh, first sign of a problem is denial and I'm denying it. Okay, so maybe I am a pessimist in a way. I'm going to work on that. See, I've already covered the first step. Acknowledgement. My eye itches. Okay, well, so it's really just my eyelid. On the 20th, at 23.10, on Sunday, 2nd of July, 2017, Jim and I, this was still, uh, part, this is part of our, our trip. This is the only thing I have recorded from our trip back. The last week I put something on this trip too. Anyway, so, we just talking, bantering, apparently, because he says we need to keep up the banter. Our non-fans desire it. I think you made a very good point there. At 23.25, Thursday, the 6th of July, 2017, I asked Ken, he's my boss at work, one of them, anyway, he's the, I asked him if he missed me last week, and he said, last week was his favorite week all year to be at work because I wasn't there. Then he tried to make me feel better by saying, oh, wait, yes, we did miss you. And looking out of the corner of his eye to see if I would buy it. Of course I bought it because of course he missed me. He just didn't want to admit it at first. And there's a funny story. I think it's funny. It was hilarious at the time. I don't remember when it happened. I think it was before I started doing these journals. I was hanging out at Jim's house. We're sitting in the basement, chilling, watching some show or something. And I get a text message. I hadn't turned my ringer off. So you hear the text message, the ringer, which sounds like this. A doorbell. In case you didn't hear that. I check my phone. I don't think much of it. Jim's doing his thing. It's what I think in any way. He's going upstairs. The top of the stairs is the door to the outside world. I didn't realize it right away. I think he was up there or coming down or something he said. I don't remember what it was that made me realize it. But when I realized it, I was laughing. What I realized was that he was checking the door because he heard the doorbell and didn't realize it was my phone. I thought he was used to my ringer enough to know that that was my phone. But he didn't realize at that time probably have my phone silenced most of the time when I'm over there because it's just more polite to do that. And he asked me, why didn't you tell me? I said, I don't know. That's why you were going upstairs. And he's like, how'd you not know the ringer? You know, it's so... I... I know. It's kind of a lame story. I thought it was hilarious at the time. And... There's more to it. See... So this time, last week, I think it was Monday, after we'd gotten back from Florida, when we come back, we find his brother's dog and cat, but the cat's insignificant to this story. His dog was there, and I got a text message. Didn't have my ringer off, so you hear, and immediately the dog starts barking and running up towards the door. 
I thought it was hilarious. Jim, not so much. So we have a different sense of humor on some things. And then there's this story. It's not a true story. I know, I know. It's, it's, it just didn't really happen. But here's what happened in this story. I bought my friend an elephant. I bought it for his room. An elephant to put in his room. I bought a, you know, I bought my friend an elephant for his room. He said, thanks. I said, don't mention it. Check out my pencil. I made it so the cap won't, won't get lost, which is handy because you don't want to lose that camp. cap. Cap. I know it's not that exciting of a thing, but I like it because I can do cool things with it. Which is a whole different type of thing, so, um, still pretty cool pencil. It's actually a style. What more do you want?